today we're out here to come visit some fracking sites and you have graciously um, said you will be our tour guide. So what are we going to see and experience today? Well, you're going to experience what we've been uh, developing here the, for five years, you know, the gas development. And you'll see every phase or different phases of the gas drilling fracking process. So it can be drilling, it can be fracking. Uh, we might see a flare if we pass one. Uh, construction of sites, the final production of the sites, uh, pipelines, compressor stations, impacted residents, people who are for may, and maybe even against. Well, mostly against, but we'll have four too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's you'll see some traffic. Today is Sunday, but today's a light day. If it's Sunday, you don't see as much traffic. Okay. So we'll see different phases of it. Nice. All right. Um. And I've been doing this for about three years now, so I do it. It's just about basically weekly. Anywhere from one to three times a week, I'm doing uh, tours, showing people around from New York State, uh, all over the world, media, residents, farmers, legislators. So letting them see what's happening to us, and it's a warning. Basically, I'm showing the impacts, and it's a warning to everybody. So I'm hoping that all will take heed of the warning and not allow it in their areas. Well, thank you. And then hopefully our area will have a moratorium and then a ban and that our government will vi finally step in and do the right thing and not allow the devastation of 40 counties in Pennsylvania that are mostly agricultural and this is where our food comes from and eventually if they continue our water our air is being poisoned and you're not going to be able to let the food out it should be an embargo in the state of Pennsylvania they should keep uh, the food from not leaving this state any kind of uh, products that could hurt other people are there any sort of testings going on? With Basically hardly any testing, if any, because they don't want to acknowledge that this is a poisoning of the environment. Our governor is totally pro-gas. The head of DEP, Mr. Cranser, is totally pro-gas. So they have to be forced to be tested. So I'm appealing to New York State, to Dr. Shaw and the governor of New York to test and do some testing in Pennsylvania so that you can see what's happening to us. And then this way you know whether to put an embargo on this state. You think they will? Uh, I think so. They might. They might. We're 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 appealing to them and putting pressure on them. So we'll see if they can possibly consider it. Okay. Because it's for their safety too. Because whatever is happening to us, our water, our air is going over the border. It's also going into New York. It's going in the southern part. It's going into Maryland and Delaware. On the eastern part, New Jersey. The western part, Ohio. So we're surrounded by states, of course, and they're all going to be affected by our negligence and irresponsibility. How long has fracking been going on in Pennsylvania? In Pennsylvania, at least five years in this county, but other counties might be another year before that. So let's say from 2006, so five, six, seven years, seven years. depending, yeah. And New York is teetering back and forth trying to decide. Yes, New York is doing a great job because they've been able to close the borders for, what, about four years now, going on five, and this is a great example for the rest of the world. New York needs to take the lead. And it is the capital, as far as I'm concerned, of the planet in many ways, and it needs to take the lead and show the world what responsible environmental concerns are and then what are our, our alternatives. You know, what can we do? We have to focus on the alternatives to show that we can do it without fossil fuels, without polluting the environment and sickening the inhabitants. What would you say that, um, like we're coming back, we'll be back next week. Oh, um, you will. Okay. On another bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, to the people that are out there that see this, um, that haven't had the chance to come out, or that just haven't come out yet, um, what would you like to say to them? Well, then come out and take and have the experience. It really means a lot to be able to see it, and have a, a sensory experience of the whole thing, a full body experience. It's very important. So come out if you can. You can contact me, and uh, it's, you can find me. You can Google me, Vera Scroggins, and I do citizen tours now for years and wanting to show people what's happening to us. Otherwise, you can also go to the gas companies and get a, a gas tour, and you can compare the results. I'm showing the impacts and what it's like to live with it as a citizen. I wonder how cooperative they would be. They might be. They might be. I know it depends. You can, all you can do is ask, you know, and, s and see what happens, yeah. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.